Hey ladies, we are finishing up the study of the book of Galatians today. And you might say, golly Laurel, you look rough. Like what's going on with you? Well, for those of you who don't know me very well, uh, my daughter is getting married on Sunday. So we have had a whirlwind of different things uh, going on. And so I just decided, it's, it's early Thursday morning and I wanted to go ahead and make my last video for the book of Galatians uh, because I need it. I need to be refreshed. But then I also thought it's okay that I don't have on any makeup and that it's, it's, it's early on Thursday morning. It's okay. And so I did want to say to each lady that's read through Galatians, um, thank you. Uh, thank you for being a part of it. Um, I've said all along that really what I want out of this is for you to just, for ladies to just be comfortable and challenge by reading scripture every day, keeping scripture in context, reading entire books, you know, not needing another resource, just being able to open your Bible uh, and just read a whole book and glean all you can from it and then read it again and you'll get more information and it'll build and build and build. And so I really do wanna say, Thank you to every lady. Um, I want to also say that I have a couple of ladies who are, I'm not going to mention them by name, but you know who you are, who really are my rider dies, who have really encouraged me, prayed for me, and really been with me since August. And I want to say I love you guys, and I'm so thankful for you. Um, but today, we are going to finish Galatians, and Paul really is going to end this, this, this letter to, to this group of believers who, who he's needed to challenge. He's needed to say, hey, what do you believe? What, do you, what are you going to stand on? You know, what do you believe? What is the gospel? What did you believe? And are you willing to defend that? And so we're going to end Galatians chapter 6 today. And I'm going to pick up in verse 9. And this is what it says. Let us not lose heart in doing good. For in due time we will reap it if we do not grow weary. And so right there he says, hey, it's not going to be easy. You know, this is not going to be easy. The Christian walk is not easy. The world is against us. The world is not our home. And so we are against the oppositions of the world. And so he challenges those believers, don't grow weary. And, you know, once again, he's wanting those, those believers to push out the false teachers and then, and then unify together, you know, to, to unify around the gospel. Then he says, so then while we have good opportunity, let us do good to all people and especially to those who are of the household of faith. And so he says, you know, our opportunity is our lifetime. You know, whatever God gives you, however many days God gives you, you should view that as your opportunity to share who Jesus is with somebody else. And so he says, and do good to the people outside of the church, but it says there, especially to those other believers, you know, love and take care and do good to other believers as well as those outside of the faith. And then he said, see with what large letters I'm writing to you with my own hand. That shows how, how concerned Paul is. This whole entire, every chapter, every word, Paul has written down to them because he's so concerned for them and he has so much love for them. Those who desire to make a good showing in the flesh try to compel you to be circumcised simply so that you will not be persecuted for the cross. Because, you know, those Jewish believers that had accepted the faith, they were persecuted. You know, they might be pushed out. And so he's saying, you know, don't. even though it seems like, hey, if I just get circumcised, then maybe they would accept me. Don't believe that. You know, don't believe that. And it says, for those who are circumcised do not even keep the law themselves, but they desire to have you circumcised so that you may boast in the flesh. And we know that any, that is just a lie. You know, those, these were just lies he was combating because we know that you can't boast in your flesh because our flesh is against us, that we are learning to walk in the Spirit, and that is against the flesh. And then he said, but may it never be that I would boast except for in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ through which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. He said, Paul says, may I never boast in anything except for the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that should be our, our cry too, that we won't boast in anything that we could do. But we would boast in Christ crucified. And then he, and he also says, and because of that, I die to this world. 
I die to this world, and I boast in Christ, for neither is circumcision anything nor uncircumcision, but a new creation. I hope that you see that after you've read all six chapters, that he kept saying, you know, there's nothing the law could do. The, the law just condemns, but because we have repented, believed, and received Jesus as Savior, we are a new creation. Therefore, we can walk in the Spirit because we've been made new. And then he says, and those who walk by this rule, peace and mercy be upon them and upon the Israel of your God. He's specifically saying, you know, we should we should walk in peace and mercy and also and so should those Jewish believers you know that those they should walk in that too but remember he reminded us that we are Abraham's we are Abraham's um, offspring as well because we're people of faith and then it says from now on let no one cause trouble for me for I bear on my body the brand marks of Jesus Paul had been physically and mentally and emotionally beaten for the cross of Christ. He had. And he said, you know, I bear these scars in my body. And then he says, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you, with your spirit, brethren. Amen. He finishes the letter right there. And you know, I want to I want to end Galatians by going back to chapter 1. And I want you I want to read one verse. I want to read Galatians 1 chapter uh, verse 6. It says, I, remember his challenge to them. Remember why he was writing to them. He said, I'm amazed that you were so quickly deserting him. And remember that him was Jesus who called you by the grace of Christ for a different gospel. And so I want to end Galatians. Like I said, I hope Galatians has challenged you as a believer to really um, understand what you believe why you believed it, what do you base your beliefs on, and I want us to really boil down what is the gospel. I want you to understand what you believed if you're a believer, and I want you to realize that you are a new creation in Christ, and that you are called to walk in the Spirit, and so that means we stay in His Word, we stay in Scripture, and we stay on our knees, and we learn together to walk in the Spirit. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in July when we walk through the book of Jude. Just 24 verses. You can do it. Join me in July for Jude.